So today I'm looking at a budget trail camera from iZika. Now it's ideal if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive trail camera. Now trail camera prices can be expensive and at the lower end of the market they can be pretty bad in quality. So yeah, the iZika IG220 is a 2.7K and 1080p video format trail camera and it does it pretty well. Now four tours are 36 megapixels max with plenty of options for any lower resolutions. So what's just going to follow is just a quick unboxing. We've got the usual strap, we've got the USB charging data cable and finally the instruction manual. Really easy to follow. Now first looks, it's a nice compact camera. The IG220 has an onboard solar panel. Now this unit can also add four AA batteries as a backup, a feature more expensive trail cameras have. So that's a bonus for the IG220. Now there's an onboard 5200 lithium battery uh, on the unit, now coupled with the AA battery installed. Now if you place this unit correctly, you'll get long field times with this. Now underneath the unit we have the reset button, charging data connection and the thread mount connecting any tripods to the camera. The battery compartment, it takes four AA batteries and those will back up the unit if the onboard lithium battery runs out of power. Now moving on into the inside of the case, you have the memory card slot, it takes SD cards up to 128 gigabytes, not micro SD cards. Uh, I simply use an SD card adapter to fit mine and also cards are not included in this package. Now it's IP66 waterproof rated. Now a design I do like on the camera is the forward facing LCD and buttons and the menu. Now many units have all the buttons on the hinge doors and it does make it a bit more tricky, awkward to line that capture up and uh, so this is a nice touch on this camera. Now we have the illuminated menu buttons Again, another nice touch. Uh, so the menu is simple and easy to operate. Here you will find various options from photos, timer intervals, time lapse, uh, loop recording. And that is a bonus. Some units don't even have that option. Now the onboard IR is at a 940, so no go compared to the 850s you can get. Now all this info can be turned off in the options. And you basically got the IZ logo, battery meter, time of day, temperature, date and time stamps but you can turn all these off in the options. So some footage, sound is okay on the unit, um, not too dull, and hopefully you can hear the birds twittering in the background, if I just shut up for a minute. So yeah, sounds not too bad. Now this is 1080p footage captured.
Now I'm going to capture this next footage in 2.7K. But do remember this is a 1080p render, so the 2.7K footage won't really stand out unless you render on a 2.7K timeline. But overall, for a budget camera, the image quality is excellent. some night captures in 1080p And finally, some 36 megapixel captures. Again, okay pictures, not so washed out. Okay captures. So that was the iZika IG220 trail camera. Now for a budget camera, entry level, it's very good. Good picture quality, 0 0.2 trigger speed. Uh, a good IR fitted, the 940 and the solar panel with battery backup and you've got loop recording and all the other settings that you you would find on more expensive models to be honest so yeah a great entry level trail camera for my Z. so yeah do check out the links below now at this moment in time i have got the rg220 out in the field i'm gonna try and get a, a week's bit of footage hopefully capture something uh, so they, they will hopefully be a follow-up video to this but overall cracking little camera for the money but yeah do check out the links below and until next time be safe